Shaq. Shaq pulling it down. That's one we haven't seen. He didn't break it. He just took it down. It ain't right. I mean, we didn't see rims be taken off the backboard and glass smashed. We ain't never seen somebody bring down the whole goalpost, like the whole thing. The NBA, not just the fans and not just the players, but the people that run the facilities, the actual hoop themselves, the actual arenas themselves that needed to adjust to the physical presence that was Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, this made the league have to have extra baskets and stanchions in the building because the game would be delayed like an hour. Six or six, 14 points. <laughs> Broken backboards, one. Good stat line. It's one thing to break the backboard. That's glass breaking. This man broke the entire contraption that holds the backboard. This is right here. This is what made people afraid of Shaq. It was just his brute strength. Like, he just badly hung on the rim, and the gold just came coming, like, just falling down. Just like they was putting it up to put it in the back closet. <laughs> It bends the knee, Game of Thrones style, to him. It bows down to him in a way that praises him. And he's like young Simba being held up on the mountaintops. We all must just bow and accept our new king, that is Shaquille O'Neal. That was the light shake. Like, that wasn't even the heavy shake. That was the light shake, if if that sound right, right? Is Shaq, was Shaq ever light? <laughs> I'm just saying. He was just the biggest human being you'd ever seen. Early in Shaq's career, I was walking down the hallway in the old arena, as they used to call it, after a playoff game. And you know how you're walking toward people? I'm in a suit, and I'm working for the Washington Post. And the people coming your way, their eyes get big, and you don't know why. And all of a sudden, before I could turn, my own eyes got big. Shaq, and I weighed about 250 at the time. Shaq had just lifted me off the, the floor, playing off the floor like a little baby. 6'2", 250, I'm not tiny. Every time I see Shaq on set, and I've been around him for a long time, you're just like, yo, that is one large person. Like, you are, how did you move him when he played? The way he cleared out space, like when Shaq went to the middle and he drop stepped and that elbow came, like, you knew you had to duck your head because he literally did it on purpose. Like, he didn't extend it. But when it came around, it was like, my God. To the point where I was like, I had to, like, follow one time. I was like, hey, man, watch that elbow. In the back of my mind, I'm like, man, I hope these are those swing <laughs> One game, we playing Shaq. And I remember they lobbed the ball over the top to him because we were front, we was in a front position. He catches the ball, and I'm on the weak side. It's just me. It's him, me, and the rim. And I slap down as hard as I can. Nobody else in the league would have had the ball in their hands. And I just remember how loud it was. It was just like, bow. I just knew I was going to get this. The ball did not move. And he just went up right there and just dunked. I was like, man, I'm not coming over here no more. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.